we're going to make some divinity, which is a meringue-based confection. Uh, kind of like marshmallow is a meringue-based confection. We're going to start by making an Italian meringue. Um, if Probably some of you have made Italian buttercream before, and it's the same thing. You start with an Italian meringue. Usually you cook it to softball stage, but with divinity, we're going to actually cook it to hardball stage, which at sea level is about 260 degrees, but since we're at roughly 5,000 feet in elevation, we're gonna cook it to 250 degrees. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my sugar. Actually, another thing I like to do is reserve a little bit of my sugar for my egg whites. We're gonna be whipping up a meringue. Um, if you've ever whipped up egg whites and they've gone a little too far, they start to look like popcorn, and then what happens is the proteins in the egg whites denature, and once they've turned to popcorn, you can't get them back. So if you take a little bit of your sugar that you're going to be cooking and add it to the egg whites, it helps stabilize them a little bit so you don't get that meringue. So I'm going to pull a little out and I'll use a little less of my water. There we go. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just adding a little water. It doesn't really matter how much, but we have a recipe for you to follow. Um, I'm going to stir it only until the sugar dissolves. I'm trying not to make too much of a mess on the sides of my pan because that's the stuff that wants to crystallize. The neater I am at this point, the easier it is to control the crystallization on the side of the pan. Since I'm only going to be cooking this to about 250 degrees, I might not even need much water to clean up the sides from crystallization. We do also have a little bit of corn syrup we're adding to it. So here at the school, we are a zero waste facility. And we even recycle this plastic wrap, in case you think that I'm being so frivolous with our resources here. We do recycle. But when I use my plastic wrap to measure sticky things like molasses and corn syrup, it just gets out of the bag so nicely. Pretty neat, but I'm just gonna clean a little bit off of these sides. And I'm not putting a ton of water in here. I don't want it to crystallize. So there's, there's a little bit of timing involved in making an Italian meringue. I'm bringing the sugar up to about roughly 250 degrees so that it's at hard ball stage. And then I'm going to be pouring this hot sugar into my whipped meringue, my whipped egg whites. So I need to kind of time it so that I get them starting to whip about the time when my sugar's almost going to be ready to pour into it. So at about, uh, about 235, I'll start to uh, whip up my whites. About 210, 215, still rising. It's right about 220, so I have a little bit of time before I need to start whipping up my whites. I'm gonna whip up my whites. Uh, generally at sea level, you're gonna whip them to a firm peak, but at elevation, they turn into popcorn pretty quickly, so I'm only gonna whip them to medium peaks. And as soon as it starts to get a little frothy, I'm going to add my sugar in a slow, steady thing. This is just the sugar that I reserved from my sugar pot. It's going to stabilize these egg whites. I'm going to pour my sugar right into the side of the bowl. I'd rather have a stream of sugar on the side of the bowl than have it disperse into the um, sides of the bowl. So you might want to go. So I'm going to start with this at medium speed. You can see how viscous this sugar is. This is called a hard ball stage. I'm 
actually feel how hot the bowl gets. I'm going to let this aerate for another maybe five minutes. Uh, I don't want to let it aerate too much or else it's going to be hard to handle. It's going to start to stiffen up before I can spoon it out. But if I don't let it go a little longer, it's just going to fall apart when I spoon it out. Meringue whipping for about five minutes. You can add a little vanilla paste or vanilla extract, or you can actually add a half of the vanilla bean to put the bean in there. I'm going to actually turn this off for a second so it doesn't spray all over. And you get these pretty little vanilla bean speckles in there. Divinity has pecans added, which is classic Divinity, but to make this look a little more Christmassy, I'm going to add some toasted pumpkin seeds and some dried cranberries. And I'm going to reserve a little to put on the top because it might not show through as nicely. And quickly, because this will start to stiffen, and what you basically want is to have this look like soft serve ice cream. So I like to use two spoons, one to lift it all out and the other to push it off with. And while I push it off, I'm going to be twisting the other spoon so that I can kind of give it that swirly look like soft serve ice cream. It's already getting pretty stiff. <laughs> 